I'm your neighborhood reporter, John Hart. On Thursday, Okemos Public Schools held a press conference to discuss how they plan on keeping water safe in Okemos schools. And it's not our job to um, downplay no, let, no amount of lead is safe in, in water. Okemos Public Schools Superintendent John Hood was joined by Representative Julie Brixey to discuss the Michigan Filter First Law and how it will be utilized to keep water safe at Okemos Public Schools. And this is a proactive law, not a reactive law. Signed by Governor Gretchen Whitmer in October, this legislation requires Michigan schools to develop drinking water management plans, install lead reducing filters on fixtures designed for human consumption, and regular testing on those filters. This year, elevated levels of lead were discovered in several schools in the district. In response, every school was tested for lead. According to Okemos Environmental Resources, room 107 at Bennett Woods Elementary reached 219 parts per billion, while the band room at Chippewa Middle School reached 81 parts per billion. The Okemos School District has set their action level at 5 parts per billion, and the federal level is set at 15 parts per billion, set by the Environmental Protection Agency. Right now, currently in our buildings, our students and staff are only drinking water out of filtered stations, and in some areas we've supplemented with um, uh, bottled water coolers right now. The district says it has communicated these test results with parents to stay transparent and proactive about the elevated levels. Hood says the district has worked to replace old drinking fountains and added some water bottle fillers, and that the school is working with Eagle to implement the law's requirements. The district says if parents would like their children tested for possible lead exposure, they should contact the Ingham County Health Department. But we're also looking at potential infrastructure of where we might need to add new filler stations. So that means, you know, maybe hiring subcontractors, running new pipe, uh, and coming up with accessible filler stations. Hood says the amount of money this will cost is currently unknown. But as of now, he says the district has spent upwards of $60,000 on testing for lead and adding additional filtered fountains. Uh, we know when it comes to lead and comes to the safety of students that, um, Money is not going to be an obstacle for us here in Okemos. We know there's some grant funds from the state that we hope to utilize. Michigan schools and child care centers will have until the 2025 through 26 school year to create their drinking water management plans. And Hood says he hopes to have a plan ready as early as June. Reporting from Okemos, I'm John Hart.